Well, I want to thank you again for being with me on my daily dose. As far as my health the last couple of days, things have been a little bit more difficult. Been rather weak. I had my heart cath and biopsy on Thursday, and as usual, that always wipes me out. Of course, Friday, the day after, is always a great day of recovery. So basically, I've got a lot of work to do today. I have a gospel meeting beginning tomorrow morning at the Munford Church of Christ, my home congregation at 9 a.m., and I've got to be prepared to preach that meeting. Now, mentally, I'm ready. I've got my sermons down. I know what I'm going to say and plan to say, but I've got to get some energy to say it with. Uh, I believe that if God's word is going to be preached, it ought to be preached with power. As one good brother said on one occasion, if you can't put any fire in your sermon, you ought to put your sermon in the fire. And I've got to find some fire and some power to preach the gospel over the next few days. And so I pray that through God's providence and your prayers also that can be lifted up, that I'll be able to do that, that I'll be strengthened, that God's word will be proclaimed. But more importantly than that, that while I stand there before the audience, that I'll become invisible, that God will be seen through me and past me, and that his word will be exalted. And so that's what we hope and pray to do. I hope and pray also, and I believe many of you did, that you had an opportunity to take view of our latest episode of Daily Dose, which was on yesterday and was under the special subtitle of Friday's Fighters. Of course, we interviewed Deb Watts on that. She is a cancer survivor since 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, she struggles and battles with that disease every day, but she only does it through her faith. And that's what that program's all about. Meeting with individuals who struggle daily, who have trials and troubles and disease in their life, but yet, yeah, because of their faith in God, they pull through and move on. And so I just really want uh, those episodes to become some of the most uh, widely seen and popular, if you will, most shared because I think they're going to help the most individuals. My life doesn't mean enough, but many of these lives of these people mean an awful lot. And they touch lives, and this one already has touched so many. So I pray that you were able to see that, and perhaps maybe you can share it. And look forward to next Friday's episode as we speak with someone else about their trials. You know, the basis of that program is basically one verse, 1 Timothy 6 and verse 12. There the apostle Paul wrote to Timothy and said to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. Now, friends, when we think about faith, and that's what's pulling these individuals through, it's what will pull you through in your difficult times in life, we have to understand what faith is. Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us, but faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now, some say, well, there's a definition of faith. I don't believe that. I think it's more of a description of faith, if anything else. And what is basically said there is this, God gives us the evidence through his word. And through his word, we have that evidence, and therefore now we have substance. The idea of substance is that which we stand on. You have a place to stand. And so basically, God becomes for us the rock of Gibraltar. He becomes the major foundation that sets, sets beneath us as we learn and grow concerning his word. Now, somebody says, well, if I'm not in the middle of a difficult trial, I don't need as much faith, per, per, per se, as you do or Deb Watts does or some of these others you're going to interview. Well, friends, actually, that's not right. But even aside from that, Hebrews 11 and verse 6 told us, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he, this is all God speaking, is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Friends, we've got to seek after God, seek to find God, seek to know God in order to have faith. Because without that type of faith that seeks, that knows, desires, we cannot please God. And if we cannot please God, there's no fight to fight. Now, there's no way we're going to fight the good fight of faith when we're not putting our faith in God. Now, someone then turns and asks, well, what is the resource? Where do we find this faith? Romans 10, 17, we would quote often, says this, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now we have to understand that when we open God's word, it is the resource, the source of our faith. It is that which brings us to the substance of our faith. And it is ultimately that which brings us to be able to battle and fight. So whether or not you're in a trial today or not, and I, I pray that you're not, I pray that your life is going as best that it can, but you're still serving the Lord. But if you are in a trial or if you're preparing for one, or by the way, you very well may be in the midst of one and just not yet know it. Please, I pray that you'll be ready to fight the good fight of faith. Fight for God. Stand for what he knows to be true and live for him each day. This has been your daily dose and I pray that you've been encouraged.